In this lesson, we are going to cover the famous hammer candle. This is a very important lesson as a hammer candle is a very powerful indicator into high probability trades. So let's focus. And yes, that's a picture of Thor. Now, why did I add it here? To create a strong memory lane. Remember, Thor's hammer equals power. Thor's hammer equals power. This is all going to be clear once we go further into the lessons. Now that I've fed this picture into your head, every time you spot a hammer candle, you will become vigilant and know that a powerful trade is at play. Keep your fingers on the trigger and you'll have to go to fight any moment. So before we begin with the hammer candles, let's quickly understand what umbrella lines are. These are candles with long lower shadows and small real bodies. They're called umbrella lines because of their shape. Uh, as you can see, they look like umbrellas. These lines can either be bullish or bearish according to the market environment. If an umbrella line emerges during a downtrend, it is a signal that the downtrend should end. In such a scenario, this umbrella is labeled as a hammer. A good way to remember this is to say that the market is hammering out. The actual Japanese word for hammer is takuri. This word means trying to gauge the depth of water by feeling for its bottom. It's also called the power line. Remember what I said earlier, uh, Thor's hammer equals power. And the reason why I said this for you to register this into your memory lane. And why is it called a power line? I will explain exactly why it's called that when we see it in charts. Some important points to remember about the hammer candle. It has a long lower shadow that should be at least twice the height of the real body. And remember these important points because they are going to be very important for you when you start identifying the hammer candle. The second one is it should have no or a very short upper shadow. Third one. A hammer must come after a decline. This is very important. A hammer must come after a decline and must come after an ongoing trend or a rally. Uh, the color doesn't matter, uh, but we'll further get into the color scenario uh, when we actually start seeing the charts. Let's understand a little bit more about the hammer candle. The hammer's long lower shadow is a strong clue, which says something about the price. There was a sharp sell which was rejected and the price bounced back. This signal could have bullish ramifications or a trend reversal. Now, all this is a lot of technical knowledge, um, but let's see some charts to understand what an hammer candle looks like, how to identify this, because it has to be very easy. It, it can't, you can't be confused while taking a trade uh, if this is a hammer candle, if this, this is not a hammer candle. So I'm gonna make this very, very clear uh, once we start seeing the charts. So let's, let's quickly jump into the charts. All right, so our first chart is going to be a 10 minute chart of State Bank of India. So as uh, remember what we had talked about, the first rule should be that the stock has to be in a downtrend. Um, as you can see, the stock is trading um, to the downward side and a hammer candle was formed. And now as you can clearly see, this is a hammer candle. Why? Because it has a longer lower shadow and a small real body. Now, where do we take a trade? At the break. Usually it said at the break, but I, as a conservative trader, I wait for multiple confirmations before I get into a trade. So either you could take it at the break, or if you're a conservative trader like me, you could wait for a multiple con uh, confirmation. So what I saw out here was after the hammer candle was formed, um, I saw weakness in the selling pressure and I saw a nice thick green candle. And this was my entry. And I took profits till the resistance. And it gave me a good risk to reward ratio. This was an intraday play. You could use the hammer candle for uh, daily charts as well. And we'll further see this in one of the examples which I have. I think I have a daily chart example as well. So let's quickly review this. We need our two rules uh, before we trade a hammer candle. The first one is the stock has to be in downtrend. Do not forget this. Do not take random trades. Random rewards are bad. The second one is we need a confirmation. Confirmation is very important. If you do not have any type of confirmation, you're going to lose the trade. So I could have taken a trade um, at the break of hammer candle uh, as well. But since it formed a longer um, upper shadow, I was scared that there was resistance out there and the stock could have just taken a U-turn and gone down. So I got my confirmation. Uh, both my rules were respected. First was the downtrend, the confirmation and the stock continued to move upwards. So that was my trade on this hammer candle. So moving on to our next chart, this is a 10 minute chart of State Bank of India. Um, now let's just look at it. Let's just stare at this beautiful chart <laughs> uh, and see if we can spot any hammer candles. Um, uh, I can see one, that's it. That's the one. 
um, now what's wrong with this hammer candle it doesn't meet our first condition um, the downtrend it doesn't have a strong downtrend the the previous trend is an uptrend and plus this is at the end of the market so how can we take a trade um, now out here we have a nice uptrend and a nice downtrend following that and then bam our beautiful hammer candle arrives uh, this one is a really nice candle, a potent one, because it has a shaven head, uh, no upper wicks, and a nice um, longer low wick and a, a, a nice real green body. And that was the trade which I would take in. I would, th these are the type of candles where you should just go for the attack. Uh, it could even serve as a nice positional trade as well. So this was one of the hammer candle trades which I did. Um, and yeah, I booked in. I booked in the daily profit. I did not go for the positional trade, but a positional trade could have been uh, more lucrative uh, on this one. So we have both our conditions met on this one. The first one is our downtrend. We have our immediate downtrend. And the second one is a confirmation. As If you look at it closely, the fourth candle from the hammer is your confirmation candle. And this could have been a nice, uh, for a positional trade, yes. For an intraday trade, you could have made some profit um, or you could have just broken even. Well, this was a good trade as well. All right, let's move on to our next chart. Let's play a game this time. Uh, what I'm going to do with this chart is I am going to uh, rewind the chart. Um, use the replay feature out here and I'm going to play the chart bar by bar. Now, let's see if we can spot any kind of um, a hammer formation, a hammer candle. So there we go. It's playing. Hmm. Now I'm going to pause out here um, and I'm going to ask you guys now, is this a hammer candle? What were the conditions we had set um, to trade on a hammer candle? The first one is downtrend. So we have our downtrend. Do we have a confirmation? Is it breaking the high of the hammer candle? Let's play this. Uh, nope, it doesn't. It actually gapped down. So this is a very bearish chart. Um, now, is this a hammer candle? Because um, again, we have a small real body and a long lower shadow. So let's again review this. Is this a hammer candle? So again, coming back to the rules, the conditions, we have our downtrend, check. So let's spot for an uptrend. Uh, the confirmation, sorry. <laughs> um, so is this a confirmation? Uh, it breaks the, the top part of the hammer candle. See, this is also a hammer candle. It has a very small upper shadow. Um, so it, it uh, passes off for a hammer candle, but I don't trade this. You can trade this. I personally do not trade this because I do not like this. The the upper part, The I, I love the completely shaven candles because those are more potent. Uh, but we still have a confirmation out here. It breaks the top. I wouldn't trade this. I strongly advise you also not to trade this. But yes, um, as you can see in this chart, we have, see, now this was a confirmation. So we could have traded out at that candle where it would still go up. Now let's, Let's keep playing this, you know, let's see what happens next. So if we would have entered on this candle, let's let's just assume that that would have been our stop loss. Um, so again, let's let's play. Let's see what happens. Um, you know, we could have booked profit on this. Let's see if uh, I see something out here. Can you guys see it as well? Uh, let, let me close this. But before we address that, let me again come back to um, this hammer candle and the upper wick. Um, I personally would not trade that. Always look for potent hammer candles. Now, can you see what I see? Another hammer, is it a hammer? <laughs> so I'm asking you again. Now tell me, is this a hammer candle? You have five, four, three, two, one. Go for the answer. All right, it breaks the top as well. Is this a hammer candle? Let me play this further. And wow, we have a great up move, a really good momentum. So again, coming back to the question, is this a hammer candle? What is the answer? The answer is no, this is not a hammer candle. Why? We do not have our first condition. No, this downtrend, immediate downtrend is done. You know, we have already started to have our uptrend. So this is not a hammer candle. Like it is something which pro traders would trade, um, seeing the downwick, but again, it's not potent. We need another signal. We need another confirmation. 
we have our confirmation on the later candles but we are not going to trade such candles these are very risky candles to get in because once uh, you enter it in if you don't get the 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 momentum which is required for an upper move it is bound to take a u turn from there and this little candle could easily qualify for a hanging man candle which comes after an uptrend so we have our uptrend and this is a very strong bearish indicator so we're not going to take any trade remember random rewards are really bad um this could have easily taken a u turn so i just wanted to point out we're only going to trade potent setups we're only going to look at really potent hammer candles so in this chart as you can see it it gave you a nice momentum but it was wrong you know it stops being so greedy and stop really stop taking random trades random rewards are really bad and they're really bad habit forming trades once you start taking this it becomes a an habit and soon you'll find yourself trading random trades and start losing a lot of money so do not take these trades we're only going to look for really nice potent hammer candles so now let's let's study some cryptos crypto charts so this is your bitcoin chart and this is a daily chart and uh, the higher time frame charts are really good for positional trades um and usually we study the higher time frame charts and then take trades in the smaller time frame because through higher time frames we understand the trend and through by going into the lower time frame we can find our entries so let's stare at this beautiful chart uh, again and let's see if we can find our um strong powerful hammer candle and there it is come on can you guys spot it i just i just gave you the clue <laughs> there it is <laughs> so much spoon feeling right <laughs> so that's your hammer candle so let's see if our conditions are met the first condition is the stock has the the crypto or whatever has to be in downtrend so we have that now we need a confirmation and this is where we are going to look at so the break would be the confirmation but again as a conservative trader i would take my trade here this would be my perfect entry because we have a a confirmation we have a, a nice pattern happening out here a nice bullish pattern and under it would be my uh, appropriate stop loss uh, as you can see uh, the book profit level would be the next resistance line which is this um, usually on a daily chart you can even keep your stop losses if you are a little bit more aggressive you could keep it under your hammer candle but i like to keep it under a bullish confirmation so as you can see in this um, we have achieved our book profit level and uh, yeah that's that's it for your bitcoin chart uh, this is a this was like a perfect entry and a perfect hammer candle as well all right moving on to our next chart uh, he has a daily chart of coal india now i'm not going to spoon feed you this time I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to analyze this chart and see if you can spot a, a hammer candle or some kind of hammer formation out here. And remember, we have to spot potent hammer candles and we have to even see that it meets our two conditions. The first one is is it in a downtrend and the second one is do we have a confirmation? <laughs> so let's see. Um yes, some kind of a hammer formation, but is it a hammer candle? So we have our upper wicks um though in some books in many books this qualifies for an hammer candle but we're going to only look for potent ones with a shaven top again as you see we don't have like a good downtrend this market is going sideways so again and as you can see even if we enter at any confirmation what are the book profit levels going to be the resistance is only till the line which had drawn earlier so for me it doesn't qualify as um, a good hammer setup Let me just mark my line out here. See, as you can see, if we would have taken an entry, this the stock continues to be in downtrend throughout the day. It would have just gone down. We would have we would have just booked either at break even or at a loss. You know, if we would have gotten out early, yeah, we could have booked something. But uh, this is some this is a setup which I would not trade at all. The reason I'm showing you all these confusing patterns as well is because you have to be very clear in your head to spot a good hammer setup. you can't be confused look at this chart it's so beautiful can you spot the hammer candle you can spot it instantly bam there it is a hammer candle do we have our first condition downtrend is the stock in downtrend yes bitcoin is in downtrend a clear downtrend second one do we have a confirmation the multiple green candles beside it for you to take an entry so you can either take an entry at the break of it or you can take in one of those thick green candles which are there 
so we can just keep our stop loss below a little above um you know one of these uh the hamovics so that's it these these are the type of setups just go attack and capture these points so moving on to our next chart 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 i don't know why i keep saying chart <laughs> chart uh, i'm going to draw two lines over the hammer candle and if you cannot spot the hammer candle out here i don't know what i was yapping about for the last 10 minutes <laughs> this is your hammer candle okay so I, i'm going to draw these two lines and i'm going to explain you the reason why i've drawn these two lines i'm going to explain you the whole thing which we talked about earlier remember i placed an image of thor and i had said that th the the hammer candle equals power so and i've also mentioned this one particular line that the hammer candles um are also known as the power lines so i'm going to take this chart forward uh, and we're going to notice we're going to observe the two lines which i've drawn out here so as you can see look at it every time the stock reaches that line and it bounces um, it's protecting that area and once we have a breakout then the stock goes into a nice downtrend so that was the power line it was protecting the price to fall any further but once the price breaks down then we can see a nice sharp down move and that's why these hammer candles are known as power lines this power line protects the price it protects the price from falling downwards it protects the price and this power line allows it it gives power to the stock to stay above that particular level but as soon as it breaks that level and falls down um, we can see a nice uh, downward move and we can enter into bearish trades now let's look at another example you know we have we've looked at confusing patterns we have looked at real potent hammer candles but let's look at some failures as well you know it's it's very important for us to see failures too so again as you can see out here there was one i'm going to replay this chart we have a downtrend a hammer candle was formed um and uh, now let's see we have as as i said we we clear on the first condition which is our downtrend now do we have the second one um a confirmation so let's uh, play this chart uh, further and check if we have uh, a confirmation any confirmation signal mm, let me find the play button okay here we go so does it break the the top of that candle hammer candle nope so we have no confirmation we have another hammer candle hammer formation does it break the top nope second condition not met so we're not going to trade this now let's see one more hammer candle is formed and uh, okay so it breaks the top as well so should we take a trade out here usually i look for a second confirmation i'll tell you why i look for it there we go <laughs> this is why i look for a second confirmation because sometimes this happens what happened the upper part which we took the trade on that was the entries which usually the books tell you to take you know they say okay the hammer candle comes take an entry but then what happened our sl was met and this was a pretty big sl so that was gone the stop loss sorry sl is stop loss stop loss was gone we had our second confirmation as well we had our first confirmation we had our second confirmation uh but yeah it it just had a sudden drop so usually see for a nice sustenance and then also see some kind of bullish signal like a green candle or something and that um let me just draw that again so you know you clear in your head so we have again let me repeat this after the hammer candle is formed see for some kind of sustenance let it let it sustain that level let let it sustain that power line and see a green candle once you see that green candle bam enter attack capture so that would be your your second confirmation and that is that would be your perfect entry so this is why i look for confirmations and you know that one um this was an example which i wanted to show you like how patterns can fail as well it doesn't have to be that okay we see a hammer it's always going to work out look at this chart we have like a nice hammer formation out here we have a, a nice um a downtrend as well can you see that red candle the red hammer candle in between that is your hammer candle which was a good trade you know we have a break of that we now in this there are no second confirmations so there was not we have a downtrend which was met but we didn't have a second confirmation our second confirmation was a real big candle green candle which was just formed after the hammer candle so that doesn't make our second confirmation i told you there has to be some kind of sustenance 
after the sustenance look for a bullish entry and that would be a perfect entry this is entries which are written in books and these would fail you more often than you think um this stock suddenly went into your, into a downtrend and your sl got hit stop loss was taken out now what happened on this day uh so this particular day was a news event a news driven event so do not trade your hammer or your any kind of pattern on news driven events because news driven events do not follow pattern formation uh these are really long th th this is a, this was a very volatile day the up move and the down move comprised of 1000 1000 points each so imagine the amount of move it it it, it was as you can see let me just yeah um this was 220 points uh that was that, that and that's just one candle and one candle was 200 points so that's that's crazy you know usually the day would be of like 300 or 500 points this the total day the whole day was a 1000 point move up and down so these are the days which you, you should just avoid trading patterns you should just in fact you should just avoid trading such days news driven days just avoid trading them you know it doesn't make any sense to me like why people trade these news driven days so stop doing that all right everyone last example wow we talked a lot on hammer candles so we're just going to take this candle um as you can see you can spot a hammer candle if you can't then <laughs> i don't know what to say um this one again has up a wick i wouldn't trade this but it's still known as a hammer candle i've drawn these two power lines now what happened on this day this is a bank nifty chart and a 10 minute chart and bank nifties are great for intraday plays day trades so there was a pattern which was formed out here and that was a bullish confirmation to just take a trade as you can see the power line protects the price and this was one of those perfect examples where a bullish pattern was formed and um this was a perfect entry so this particular pattern is called a three step up i use this pattern a lot these this is a very potent pattern the thing is i for the longest time i actually called this pattern the crab pattern I still call it the crab pattern actually because it looks like a like a crab, you know. <coughs> Then later on in in uh, as I was trading um and I name, you know, like I think you should also do that. Like you should name whenever you find a certain pattern which is registers, name it. And you can give it any name, you know. I found later that this was called a step up. I actually thought this was a I I named it a crab pattern and I always called it a crab pattern because of its claws, you know. There was a one red claw and a, and a green claw and the green claw was above a little above the red claw and as soon as the price would break uh, i would take an entry out here <laughs> so with this you know the reason i wanted to even tell you this because now a three step up pattern even though i'll teach you this pattern in the later um, lessons you're going to remember this because of this really horribly drawn image of a <laughs> of a crab with a with a red uh, red claw and a, and a green claw <laughs> So yeah and you know the thing is I think people should just have fun with charts uh it's it's not such a serious serious deal for the longest time because you're going to spend a lot of time on charts so might as well have some fun you know like call it weird names i have i have so many i'll i'll show you like one of these in one of my lessons of trading journals of uh the patterns like the 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 names which i've given to certain patterns and they would just register really quickly with me so before we uh In this lesson here is an example of another uh, potent green hammer candle so that you get good uh, sweet dreams about them and not nightmares about hammer candles. <laughs> so this is one of the candles uh, it meets our first condition of a downtrend and it meets our uh, second condition of a confirmation as well. You could take a positional trade on this intraday wouldn't make sense as the market was ending at that time. uh we could have taken a trade on the doji so i will explain these doji setups as well in the later lessons but doji is uh, something where um you know the the downtrend sort of ended so we could have taken uh this was a perfect look at this this is such a beautiful uh, a clean shaven top and a and a nice bullish hammer candle now what i'm going to do is before we end this lesson i'm going to draw two power lines below the candle why did i do this now the reason i did this was to show you that even though the day ended on that day and we couldn't take a trade always make those power lines always draw those power lines why because the next day could be a day where we could find a really good entry this particular candle is called the inverted hammer 
I will again teach you this this candle and what does it mean and how to play them. But this inverted hammer candle was um, a signal for us to enter long. And this is exactly, as I said, like, you know, first find your first condition, which is the downtrend. So the downtrend was met. What happened was um, the hammer candle was formed around the end of the market. Like, I think um, like 20, half an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour time was left. And, and these are the times where, you know, it, it's best not to take a trade. Um, so, yeah, like, just don't do it, you know, uh, even though there was a doji and we could have taken an entry. But the next day was was a perfect day to see like if you know that power line is being sustained if uh, there's some kind of uh, uh, power which has been provided to the price of the stock and this was uh, the inverted camel was the inverted <laughs> candle not the camel <laughs> inverted camel would be funny so the inverted candle was the signal for us to go along and we would have captured all that um, uptrend which was formed later on so this is it for the hammer candles. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the lesson. And uh, we have studied so many examples that I'm sure that it would be really hard for you to ever forget uh, the hammer candle setup. Now, what I want you to do as uh, a homework is um, to try and find these hammer setups. Go look at some charts and uh, plot down some hammer setups. Train your eyes because trading Candlestick patterns is all about pattern recognitions. The more accustomed your mind and your eyes are to a certain pattern, the quickly it'll be able to react. So that's your homework. Go find some charts, you know, go chill with them, enjoy with it, and find some um, strong, potent hammer candles.